In this five minute design challenge, what we're going to do is create this fidget cone. It's consisted of two bodies and the bodies interlock with each other that creates this cone that cuts through each other to give it an optical illusion. The first thing we're gonna do is select our front plane. We're gonna click L to draw the line, click on this plane, go right to the origin, click once, pull up. This will be 50 millimeters, enter, click L again. From that top point, go to the right, make another line by hitting L, 10 millimeters, hit L again, go to the bottom this time, pull to the right, this will be 20 millimeters, hit enter, hit L again, and connect these two vertices. Hit enter, finish the sketch. Let's go to the bottom view, click C, we're gonna make a circle at the bottom, go right here to the center, pull out, this will be 40, click enter, finish the sketch, go back to the front view, come up here to the left hand corner, hit create, drop down to sweep, on the sweep, make sure your profile is selected, our profile is this polygon that we just created, click it once, go back to the right, click your path tool, then we want to select an isometric view so we can select the circle. Click on the circle, click OK, and now we have this cone. Let's go ahead for the moment and shut the cone off by dropping down the bodies tab, shut off body one. With the body shut off, let's go ahead and go to the bottom view, click C, click right here on this plane, go to the origin, make a circle, that is 40 millimeters, enter, click C again, go to the origin, this circle is going to be 35 millimeters, enter. Next, we're gonna make a couple lines, hit L, go right to the top of this inner circle on the green line, click once, pull down, this will be 3.5 millimeters, hit enter, click C, go right to that point that we left off, make a circle, this will be seven millimeters, hit enter, next, hit L, go to the origin, click once, this line will be 17.5 millimeters, hit tab to go to the degrees, it will be 54 degrees on this side, hit enter, we're gonna repeat the same process on the left side, go up 17.5, hit tab. However, the degrees on this side, since we're going the opposite way, will be 126. Hit enter. Next, click L, go to the center. We're gonna go up 10 millimeters, hit enter. Hit L again from this point that we just stopped, pull out. Go 1.5 millimeters to the left, enter, click C. We're gonna make a circle from this point on, click there. This circle will be 12 millimeters, hit enter. Let's go over here and repeat the process going up 10 millimeters. Then click right on the spot you left off, pull to the right, 1.5 millimeters, enter. C again, click on that point you just left off, 12 millimeters, enter. Afterwards, we're going to clean up some of these lines that we don't need any longer, so we hit T to trim. And when we trim, we're gonna start by clicking the outside of the circle right here. Click that line, because we no longer need it. We're gonna click that part of the circle, Get rid of all these lines with the trim tool. Finish the sketch. And your newly formed object should look something like this. Let's go ahead and turn the body back on. Let's go to an isometric view and we have this shape right here. We're now going to duplicate the body by coming over here on body one, right click, where it says copy, click copy, right click again and paste and you'll have two bodies. Afterwards, go to the front view. Next, we're gonna hit L and click at the origin again. We're gonna pull up. This line is gonna be 50 millimeters. It's gonna be the exact height. Finish the sketch. Go ahead and shut off body two right now. So now we're left with body one. Afterwards, we're gonna come up to create, drop it down. Let's make another sweep. We're gonna select this key shape as our profile, our path, then will be this vertical line that we just created. Then right here at our twist angle, to make it go all the way around, we're gonna twist this 360 degrees. Click enter. Afterwards, we're gonna come up back to create, drop it down. We're gonna create a pattern and it's gonna be a circular pattern. So click circular pattern. On our toolbar to the right, drop this down. Make sure that this is selected as features. Then you wanna click the inside cutout part click the axis tool, click the bottom. For your quantity, make sure that it's changed to five, then click okay. Next, let's go ahead and bring body two back. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna combine these. So go to modify and select combine. On the right side, our target body is gonna be body two. So select body two. Our tool body will be body one, but please make sure on the right side you select keep tools. 
then click OK. So now you have two bodies, one that looks like that and the other that looks like that. Let's go ahead and shut off body one. And the last thing we have to do is offset these so when they go through each other, they won't get stuck. So we're going to come up here to modify. We're going to do the press pool tool and we're going to select every part on here, bottoms and tops of all of these. And it should look like this. For our distance, we're going to type in minus 0.5. That may take a moment, so be patient. Once it's done, it will look like this. Turn body one back on and you'll have something that looks like this. We're now ready to export this as an STL. You can print this in place or you can print the parts separate. I'd recommend a layer height of 0.2 as you print this.